This is my Bialetti 9 cup coffee maker. Uh, I've just got back from Rome and this is the only thing I bought back from Rome. I really wanted to get one of these um, and I bought some cups with it as well. Uh, I went to the actual Bialetti store in Rome um, and surprisingly I found one. I just went off out of my uh, uh, apartment and then just walked around and asked people where can I buy one from and uh, I've actually found people were really helpful one of the places to buy these are you can buy them from most supermarkets but you don't get nine cup ones, you tend to get six ones, they're the most popular um, but um, the, the funny place where you can find these are actually DIY stores um, when I was uh, in Venice um, they had them in a DIY store um, so I'll show you what's what, what's inside first. I've got the uh, replacement uh, filter and uh, rubber seals. There's three seals in there. Um, the lady said that uh, you should change the seal every three months, and then the the filter every uh, six months. So this should last me a year. Um, I don't really think you need to. Um, I've been using. A different coffee maker, not a Balletti, uh, and it's I haven't changed the filter at all, and it still seems fine. But I guess if you damage the filters and the uh, the the rubber seals, it's uh, it's a good thing to have them because they're quite expensive. If you buy these um, online, they're round about um, I think ten to fifteen pounds, depending where you get them from they are quite expensive um, this, let me see, it cost me in total with everything worked out about 50 euros with the cups and uh, the coffee maker and everything uh, if I was to buy just the the coffee maker it would cost me more than 50 pounds here in the UK uh, and you can buy them online but I'm not too sure if they're genuine uh, so you just got to be careful. That's why I actually wanted to buy one from Italy. Now compare that to the one I've been using before. That's a six cup. So uh, just this is just some cheap. It's it's, it's done me well. Uh, I've had it for probably about two three years, and it's still it's still okay. It still makes good coffee. But I haven't tried this yet. I bought myself some coffee from Italy, but I haven't had a chance to to make it yet. But I will do. So to to make the coffee, simply unscrew the top, take out the filter, and then you fill it up. To there's a line there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Just below the uh, the valve. That'll fill it. That's to nine, and then put the, uh, the filter back on. Put your coffee in there, depending on how strong you want it. I usually fill it to the top. Screw the top back on. And then just pop it on the, the stove on a medium heat. And the coffee will come out of there. It usually takes um, about seven to eight minutes on my stove, but that's with the with the smaller one. And that's not a Belletti. Uh, it's made from aluminium. And apparently it should last me more or less a lifetime. I'm not sure what this one's made of. There's still some water in there. I made coffee this morning. I tend to use this one for now. I need to get it all washed and then I will make myself a nice cup of coffee for my new mugs as well. Thank you for watching.